Archangel on his own would destroy Cable on his own in this fight. This is due to the apocalypse synergy. That's why. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, I can tell it's working. We are convincing people that Cable is pretty awesome when paired with Apocalypse. And of course, Apocalypse is awesome. I don't think anyone doubts that. This is a great duo. This is a great traveling team. Now, here's the thing. I want to show how great his damage is. I realize that with the Abyss Solos, it should be obvious. But here's the thing. If you saw my incursions run, we went to room zone 20. We got through it. Archangel carried so much of that for me and the damage was incredible. So I'm going to do a damage test. I'm going to do Archangel versus Cable. I actually don't know the results. I did I did the fights, but I did not pay attention to the amount of time. I'm aware of the hits, but I don't know the official results. I'm going to be watching this with you as I'm commenting on it. And we're going to look into this and just to show that it's going to be a fair fight. Both of them have a nice synergy with Apocalypse, right? Both of them could be made horsemen, but I, one of the things I like showing is that you can keep the horseman ability for uh, Cable or for Apocalypse himself, meaning like you can keep this genetic code. I do think that's very helpful to him. So just in case you're not familiar, this is the synergy with Cable. His incinerate debuff is gonna gain 100% potency. I'm not gonna be throwing that. We're gonna be focusing on the heavy and just the heavy only, because that's really what I wanna show. Uh, and the big difference there is it's on every hit of the heavy now and that there's no stack limit. That's that's what's really allowing that damage to ramp up so huge. And then for each hit of the heavy uh, into a stunned opponent, Archangel has a 10% chance to pause all neurotoxins. Pausing those neurotoxins would be a really, really big deal. It's going to be a lot of parrying heavy and we're just going to be doing this against Winter Soldier. We're going to keep this really, really simple, just a pure damage test. Usually nodes and defenders really matter, but let's go ahead and I will set the timer. But this is just a pure damage test. Just so we get an idea. That doesn't mean one's better than the other. Uh, it just means, unless one's significantly better. But let's see here. So I'm starting the timer and let's go. I remember this, I did this a few days ago. I uh, I didn't play very well in this first fight. I, there was a couple of mistakes and then the cable fight went smoothly. So I'm actually going to do this twice with the uh, Archangel. I, if we're getting this out there and I'm putting this information out there, I want it to be accurate. I want it to be accurate. But anyways, we're letting, see, I missed a couple parries there, whatever, you know, it's a, it's a wonky AI here. They, no one doubts that. But it is allowing us to stack a lot of poisons, which means we're gonna be putting a lot of the uh, neurotoxins on pretty quickly. Take a nice little hit to the face. And that's, again, that's why I'm gonna do this fight more than once. The other thing to keep in mind here, again, I wanna make this fair. And I wanna make this accurate is that uh, Archangel's heavy is three hits. So when we're looking at the hit counter, I think that's important to keep that in mind. Uh, Cable's heavy is only two. So it's gonna be a little different there. It could be a little askew. Let's, let's, we'll just keep that in mind. Uh, and then also Archangel obviously has RNG. There's RNG uh, that comes into play quite a bit more than it does for Cable. So at least as far as just the damage. But uh, we're going this down. We're only, we're just barely over a minute here and this fight's almost over. And um, let's see here. I want to make sure I'm ready to hit the stop timer as soon as uh, we got it. There we go. All right. So that was a minute and 24 seconds and 36 hits. The 36 hits for Archangel. 124.47, that'd be funny if it actually gets that close. And uh, yeah, so then we're gonna back back out here so we can do this against Winter Soldier. Like I said, I don't know the official results. I enjoy this better. It's like commenting on someone else's uh, crystal opening. I want to be genuinely excited. I want to be genuinely excited and surprised with this. Uh, I am pretty positive though, if I remember correctly, all right, now I'm pretty sure Cable's gonna do this in quite a few less hits, but that's because, again, as I referenced, he has the two hit heavy. I'm getting ready with the start timer here. So let's get ready to check this out. All right, there we go. Both running suicides, uh, relatively suicide friendly champions, I think, because they're not really throwing their specials too much. Uh, the horseman ability obviously would benefit them both. And, um, and then the white magneto synergy is very helpful to cable in the synergy department. 
But again, I didn't want to show all that. I know that we don't always have all those spaces to take uh, synergies and things like that, right? Especially like if we're in war or something. And as you can see, I played a lot better with Cable in this fight than I did uh, with Archangel, which is why I'm going to run the Archangel fight twice. But Cable's only 13 hits in, and we are approaching 50%. Uh, so I think, yeah, Cable. And then remember, there's no stack limit on the D-Gen. So he's, in theory, going to get stronger as we go on, as we're able to place more D-Gens. Gonna start kind of paying attention, getting close to uh, stopping it. Yeah, I missed a couple parries there. That's fine. Realistic. Getting ready. Probably could have pressed the issue there a little bit, but letting the degen do the work. All right, so here we go. 29 hits, 29 hits. So that is seven less than Archangel, but we've talked about the difference in their heavies. And he did it in a minute, 26.28. So uh, just like, a, um, so a full second and like uh, eight tenths of a second. So a second, 1.8 seconds there. Difference now, I did not fight well on the Archangel fight. So let's go ahead and, and reset it. And let's take a look at Archangel one more time. I think that right there though is already showing me uh, Cable is in that class. Cable is in that class. And I think it's important to keep in mind, as I love Archangel, one of my favorite champions in the whole game by far. I love taking him into war. I told you about, he carried me through incursions. Can't wait to get that video out. Um, but he does need champions to be bleed and poison uh, capable. All right, so we've started. Let's see. Now, I did a lot better on this fight, if I remember correctly. I remember feeling significantly more confident about this. So um, let's see how this goes. Remember, Archangel does is a little more RNG dependent too. So let's see how that goes. All right, we're up to six Neuro, so that's going to be good. Able to go in and be really aggressive. Remember, we're getting the slight pause on the Neuros when they're stunned, so that's good. Uh, taking advantage of the synergy with Apocalypse. And just for anyone that's wondering, I think you all know this, but in case you don't, Archangel on his own would destroy Cable on his own in this fight. This is due to the Apocalypse synergy. That's why I brought him along for both, and that's what most of my all of my Cable videos have been about here so far, is with Apocalypse and how, how good and how well uh, they are together as a team. All right, we're closing in here. I'm going to get ready. This is a lot faster. This is much faster at a minute, four seconds here. So getting ready to pause it. Some of the neuros fell off. And this happens with Archangel. This happened on the uh, Incursions run too. All right, a minute 16. This was much faster. This was much faster. And this was, again, 36 hits. What are the chances? So on both of his, uh, on both of his attempts, Archangel was 36 hits. Cable was 29, less hits. Keep that in mind though, Cable has the two hit heavy as we talked about. Archangel uh, had the three, so that's actually less heavies for Archangel. Uh, he's a little more RNG dependent, but I didn't play as well in the first fight. In the first fight, Archangel did it in a minute 24.5, rounded, uh, rounded off. Cable did it in a minute 26.3.3. So uh, that's actually about two seconds. That's about two seconds, give or take, a minute, a second and a half. But then an Archangel in this last one, when I played significantly better, uh, did it in a minute 16.5. So that's about 10 seconds off. That's uh, that's pretty good. That that's a, I think that's a clear winner. And yet, and maybe I'm just motivated to think this way, I think it still shows the damage capabilities of Cable, especially when you put them together with a longer form fight uh, like Abyss, as we've shown. I'll link those. I'll link the uh, OR solo at the end of this video. And then keep in mind, Archangel needs the opponent to be both bleedable and poisonable. 
I don't think we should hold that against him. There's so many champions in the game can be bled and poisoned. But almost no one is immune to degener uh, de degen, which is uh, degeneration, which is cables, damage. And so that gives him a nice plus there. And even just being within the realm of Archangel is a huge, huge deal. I'm very uh, excited by this, encouraged by this. Uh, maybe I'll test them against some other champions. If you have some ideas, if you're like, hey, dude, it'd be cool to test this. Uh, I'll see if it's already been done and uh, if we might be able to run that test. I think this was fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're continuing to enjoy the cable videos and what we're getting out there. And it's been cool to read uh, your comments telling me how you've been using him. You've been using him in War and Act 6 and things like that. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow on Twitter at VegaGaming583. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.